Greetings Space Engineers, this is Commander Noodles and today we are going to be going through the second episode which is going to be hand mining and we're going to look at the ways that we can efficiently mine using the hand drill but not get stuck in the ground and we're going to look at specifically what we need to do at the beginning point to make things work easily so what we do want to do later on is build a ship and we know that we're going to need more reactor details but we don't want to destroy the nuclear reactor that we have currently behind us so what we're going to do is we're going to be looking for materials like iron we're going to be looking for gravel which is from stone we're going to be looking for silver and obviously uranium which is what we need to power it so what we're going to do to start with is we are actually going to go through the one-on-one -on -one on how to simply start effectively mining using the hand drill without getting stuck in the ground and we're going to go through that now so just bear with me and um, once we're obviously in the station here and if you remember where we left off we landed the station and we started our very simple mine we put down a couple of armored slopes and that's the key thing here is the armored slope and having around 400 three to 400 iron available to make this work so from here we are going to go back into our main area we're going to scoot down to here obviously get what we need so 248 is good and we're going to get some construction components just 10 of those some interior plates 10 of those and that should be all we need now I have done some prior work to make it easier for everybody so if you have a look over here you'll see we've got a pre-established mine and I've just started this mine not long ago to give you an idea what it will look like so let's scoot over here real quick and show you this pre-established mine so this pre-established mine I'm gonna go for my little mining tool here is allowing us to do one of several things first of all you can see how it's interconnected so we've got a nice simple ramp to come through and these are only taking up one steel so it's not very much the other thing is you'll see the color coding the red means sunset the yellow means sunrise I know if I need to put up some solar panel the sun's going to appear from this general direction and set in this general direction. So let's go down and have a look what we've got here. So very simply you can see what we've done is we have actually just got armored slopes all the way down. And then we're looking at about 18 to 28 armored slopes depending on how deep you have to go. And as you can see here's the uranium. You can see it's now showing up in our, in our view here. And so what we've got here, and this is the bottom of the armored slope. Now if we have a look, I can see uranium is here. So if I left click, I should be able to, there's a rock, and look, there's some uranium. The other thing you can do is you can build an armored block right here. And if you build an armored block right here, I'm going to go to Control 2, G, interior lights are handy. So we're going to put in interior lights. So why are they handy? They're handy because they obviously light up the area and they don't use much power so we haven't quite got enough space available so we need to clear out a bit more space oh there we go we're just too close so we're going to put that interior light down real quick and we're going to build that up and then once we get that powered up you will find it's we're actually going to be able to see what we're doing it's going to be wonderful um, so now we're going to go back and that will get through power through the grid. So we are now going to focus on, you've seen what the mine should look like. We're going to focus on making the mine work that way. So I'm going to show you the very simple setup of what you need to do to be able to mine efficiently and not get stuck. It's not difficult at all. It's really, really easy. And <clears throat> as you'll find, it's um, actually pretty fast to do that. The other thing you'll notice is we'll have an armored block, a sloped armor slope here. And then an armored block and then you'll have another slope and another armored block and then another armored slope and another armored block so you're going to put the slope down the block underneath it the slope down the block underneath slope down block underneath and so on and that's how you'll get to that point so let's just jump on up here and let's continue where we were so as you can see we've already started here we're expecting to have about 18 armored slopes around 18 to 28 depending on how deep you have to get once you get to the point where you're ready to drill, hit your C key, and that's going to make you crouch. So if we go like this, you can see we're going up and down. And then the next key thing is the right mouse button. And you want to right mouse button for a little bit, two or three clicks, 
one more, there we go, we're going to turn around and then we're going to go to our armored slope here for, make sure it's the square armor block, and we're going to put that in and then we're going to choose the armored slope. So we want armor block then armored slope. And then if you can, which we can't at the moment, are you going to put down another armor block? We might be able to, let's see what we can do here, yep. So what we'll do now is as you do an armor slope, build it up, don't worry about the blocks, just the slopes. This will allow us that if we hit the slope with the drill by accident, we are actually going to be in a position where we're not going to destroy the slope because it will take a small amount of damage every time you hit it with a drill. So now we just go back to four. We've got our armor block in place. So we need to go to slope. Go on, there we go. Put that in and build that up. And that is essentially all you need to do to mine efficiently. With the hand drill and so we're just going to keep doing this right click it won't be very long before we get past the ice there's the rock right there there we go and we're right clicking we're destroying stuff we're not trying to mine it so you can see i'm a little bit further down but don't stress if that happens because we're going to go to armor slope there there build that up there we go four block now you can see here we're kind of stuck so what we're going to do is we're going to go three push that out a little bit we can see we're close to magnesium actually which is pretty neat and then we're going to go four using my scroll wheel uh, you go further back there we go and then build that up the armor slope takes 13 steel to build up compared to the 25 you'll need for the armor blocks Obviously a 13 is far easier and you'll get more slopes. So you can see we're 10 meters from the uranium, but if you look up, we're actually 32.5 meters from the magnesium. So what we can do is just a couple of things. Let's just go down and right click a bit more. There we go. Let's have a quick look around. Wonderful. We're gonna try and keep these 10 minutes or less. So that 10 minute time will enable us to Keep it short so you guys understand what's happening. And if you have any questions, you can kind of scoop back. But we're just going to also tag on one thing at a time. So today, in this 10 minute block, we are just looking at mining. So what I'm going to try and do is my best to get down to the uranium within that 10 minute block, if I can. Makes it easy for you guys to listen to, to watch. And there we go. So we're going to go four. Make sure it's not the slope. Make sure it's a block and slope. Okay, so we need to go three, a bit more, there we go, four, there we go, and we just build that up each time. Remember, if you're a little low, don't stress, because you're going to build up and we're working our way down as you can. So now we go four, block, four, slope. Okay, so we need three. And boom. So you see we're quickly and efficiently getting our way down to the earth and how are we doing now? We are coming up to magnesium and the uranium is 5 meters away. So we should be able to see the uranium pretty soon. Oh that looks like rock maybe. Oh and there is uranium. So we just got our first bit of uranium from here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go 4 just in time and slope, and build up the slope. There we go. And now the other thing you can do, like I had shown you the previous one, is if we go three, we're gonna use our left click here because we wanna get these resources, we don't wanna destroy them. Make some space available. Wonderful. The other thing we're going to try and do if we can is we're actually going to build an armor block here. So it's kind of dark right now. So use the F key once it's selected to grab the stuff. And then what we're actually going to do is going to go four. We're going to do an armored block. And we're going to put it there. And we're going to build that up real quick. And then we're going to put the interior light. Now the intent is with the interior light, the interior light should give us a platform now where we can actually see what we're doing. 
So we're going to build this real quick. I'm at the 10 minute mark. Come on. Why are you not building? There we go. And then when we turn that interior light on, we'll be good to go. And so once you've got all these resources here, you literally just jump on up. And if you get stuck like that, just hit three, right click. And it is now just a matter of time. You go into your cargo container, double click, double click, and you'll see these drop into the refinery. And ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. You've actually got a working land hand mining situation where you can mine, you can get down, you can get the resources you need and get up really easily. So if you have any questions, any thoughts, or any comments about suggestions, let me know. But that is how you use your hand mine in planets to get down to the resources that you need. So you're going to need gravel, you're going to need silver, you're going to need iron to build your reactors, which is here. And you're also obviously going to need uranium, which we just picked some up, which will be important for um, powering that reactor. Now the other thing we can do here is we go into this little control panel, go into the I for inventory and hit control panel down here. We're going to make sure our interior lights are all turned on. So we turn them on. And are there any more interior lights? I believe that's everything. So now when we go down, hopefully, we should be able to see some light down here. Let's have a quick look. The interior light should be getting the power from the system. It's all connected. Nope, not today. Well, we'll look at that. We'll get that fixed. We'll work out what's happening and why that's not getting power. So I apologize about that. But that's essentially what you have to do is put interior lights on there. Um, for some reason, it's not getting the power it needs, even though it's all connected. Not sure why that is, but we'll work on that as it comes up. So there we go. So if you need to mine with the hand drill, that's how you can do it. You just go um, block, square block, armor block, and then you start going armor slope and armor block, armor slope, armor block, all the way down, and then you'll get to the resource you need. Um, congratulations, have fun, and I will see you on the flip side. Commander Noodles, out.